Have you ever tried to learn something new or solve a problem in your life? And maybe initially you make some progress with it, but eventually you hit a block. And no matter how hard you try, you can't seem to move past it. You're not making any more progress. You stagnate. It feels like you're hitting your head against the wall. What if there was a so-called mental virus that was blocking your brain's ability to learn? Well, in this video, we're going to explore this mental virus, how it's absolutely destroying your ability to learn and grow, and how to overcome it and become way faster at mastering new skills. But before we get into that, I want to quickly share with you a story of what happened to me when I didn't know about this mental virus and the change it made for me when I became aware of it and was able to overcome it. If you scroll down to the older videos on my channel, you'll find that I used to make videos about photography. Now, back in 2020, when I first started taking photos, I remember I learned somewhere that the ideal time to take good photos is during golden hour, which is the time during the day when the sun sets and everything has this beautiful like golden hue, golden lighting around it. So I picked up this idea that this is when you gotta take your photos. And so I started taking all my photos during this time. And at first it was nice. I felt like, you know, I'd, I'd mastered photography, you know, I'm learning how to take these beautiful golden hour photos. But after a while, I started to notice that all my photos looked basically the same and I started to feel like there was no more things to learn in photography. I started to lose my enthusiasm a bit. But then one day what happened was I was scrolling Instagram and I came across this street photographer who was taking photos on a rainy and cloudy day and the photos looked absolutely incredible, way better than mine, way more cinematic, way cooler. And that was when I realized that by just shooting my photos during golden hour, I was really limiting my own photography and my own sort of creative thinking. Now this tendency to stick to the known way of doing something rather than seeking out new and more effective solutions was a pattern that I began to see everywhere in my life. Video editing, writing, public speaking and teaching, even my relationships. And so I did some research and I found that there was actually a scientific explanation to all of this. The Einstellung effect. The Einstellung effect is the cognitive bias that occurs when the existing knowledge that we have over a subject prevents us from learning about it on a deeper level, learning something new about it. It's the tendency to approach new things with old patterns of thinking and behavior even if they're not the most appropriate for the current situation. Imagine you're playing a video game where you've always used the same strategy to beat the levels. Let's say, always attacking enemies head-on because it worked well in the early stages. As the game progresses, the levels get harder, and this strategy starts failing. But you still keep trying it over and over instead of trying different tactics, like maybe sneaking up on enemies or trying different weapons. This is the Einstellung effect in action. The mind locks on to a familiar way of doing a thing and prevents you from even trying different, maybe better ways to succeed. This cognitive bias is a bit like a virus on a computer that interferes with the system's optimal functioning by limiting its operations. But this virus is not on a computer. It's in your thinking. But there's good news. With a little bit of work, you can uninstall this mental virus from your thinking. Just follow the steps that I'm about to share with you carefully. By applying these steps, you'll not only become faster at learning things, but you'll also get more of what you want in life and generally have more success in all aspects of life, really. Because everything really, at the end of the day, boils down to learning. How effective are you at learning? If you can remove the mental blocks that exist in your mind that are preventing you from learning effectively, from downloading information and skills, sort of matrix style. If you can remove the blocks, you get really good at learning. This is the key. So here's the protocol that'll allow you to break free from this mental virus. Firstly, you need to recognize that the Einstellung effect exists in your mind. It's operating in your thinking and it's doing it unconsciously. And that's the trick with cognitive biases is that we never consciously do them, right? We're never consciously using a cognitive bias. They happen on an unconscious level and that's the way they work. So how do you become aware of where the virus is working? Well, this is step number two. You wanna carefully observe your own behavioral patterns. 
We all have patterns of behavior, ways of doing things that are mostly automatic, mostly unconscious. We don't even think about it. In that way, we're kind of like robots. We need to carefully observe our behavioral patterns and see whether or not they're producing the results that we want. And if they're not, we need to ask ourselves, why are we doing it in the first place? If it's not getting the result that we want, why the hell are we doing it? So if you find a place where you're doing something that's not giving you the result that you want, that's a hint of where the virus is operating. You have some assumptions there that you're making that are actually not accurate to reality. And finally, here's the firewall that'll prevent the virus from hijacking your brain. Approach learning from a beginner's mind. Whenever you're learning something, never trust the feeling that now you understand something completely or now you've maxed out your skill or your understanding is full and absolute. Always assume that there's more to know, more to learn, more perspectives to consider and more effective ways of doing things out there. The Zen Buddhists have a term for this called the beginner's mind, which means always being open to learning as if you're starting fresh, no matter how much you already know. It's about staying curious and ready to discover new ways to grow and improve. So that's the protocol for overcoming the Einstellung effect. If you do the steps as I uh, presented them here, then you're going to become a faster learner and you're going to get more of what you want in life. You're going to have more success. Give it a try and let me know what you think. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos related to learning, learning how to learn. Really, if you're interested in becoming an effective learner, learning how to uh, effectively master skills and gain deep understanding over topics that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to the channel because this channel will be a catalog of videos that uh, help you get there, help you get that kind of mastery over learning.